I want everything to be really clean on here because this is the first time you guys are seeing my kitchen. It's so dirty. Why didn't I clean this before? <laughs> There we go. So much space for activities. Yeah, let's get into the cell because I'm very hungry. Yeah, I'm like hungry. Now. Let's eat now. Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. You guys haven't been here yet, so welcome. Today I'm gonna be doing a new Pinterest recipes tested because the last one I did was, I think Valentine's Day, which was a long time ago. And I have brought with me my beautiful sister-in-law. This is Caroline. It's not as fun just cooking by myself in a kitchen. Oh, who do I talk to? <laughs> so lonely in here. She is so good at cooking and she makes amazing recipes. Oh. If you see her in person, tell her to make you Cajun chicken pasta. It's so we good. stopped on the street. <laughs> and I thought it'd be really, really fun to do a back to school version and talk about some different healthy-ish recipes that are either easy for you to do or easy to prep in advance and are just interesting. And I really wanted to test out the sushi burrito. Spoiler alert, <laughs> I needed to test that. So we are gonna be testing out three different recipes. One is breakfast, one is snack, and one is a lunchtime recipe for you guys. So if you wanna see more of these recipe kind of testing out videos, give this video a thumbs up so I know. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so the first recipe we're gonna be testing is, what, what was this, how did you describe this? Milk cereal breakfast popsicle. Like a bowl of cereal frozen. In a popsicle. Imagine licking your bowl of cereal. Solidly. <laughs> Why am I making this? Let's see how this goes. So, walk us through. What are we gonna need for this? Okay, so half a cup of cereal, probably something fruity, like, because you got fruit. And you need half a cup of strawberry milk, mm -hmm. one banana, okay, cup of Greek yogurt. All right, so the first step. Banana. We're going to blend it. It says something about a, using a paddle mixer. A paddle. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. We're gonna neutral bullet this up. Okay, blend it in. All right, banana goo, what's next? Yogurt and milk at the same time. And there's a bunch of different combinations that you can do with this. You could do strawberry milk and like Fruit Loops, or you can do like cocoa puffs and chocolate milk, oh. or just like regular milk, add a little bit of honey and like Cheerios or something. So like completely up to you. I have to say I chose this because I like the color pink. Plus like strawberry and banana is just like, like such a classic combo. Yeah. And Greek yogurt has a lot of protein in this, so this will help keep you fuller for longer. So you blend it and then you, you hand mix in the cereal so you don't like crack it all off yet. Gosh! Letter dance number two! That smells like a lot of chemicals. Mmm, fruity chemicals. I gave one to your child the other day, by the way. Throw it in. Well, that was anti-climatic. Well, it looks gross. It does, actually. So now we're going to carefully pour this in. There we go. Done. Perfect. Now these are gonna go in the freezer for eight hours. So we'll see how this goes. Stay tuned. I wonder what it tastes like. Um, it tastes like banana. Uh huh. Um, with like a tinge of Fruit Loops. I don't really taste like <laughs> strawberry, but um, I kind of like it. Uh, like, are the Fruit Loops like mushy? They're kind of hard. Like it's like freezing a Fruit Loop, and then like it's a little mushy, but it's not bad. So you give it a thumbs up of approval. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> 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 okay, so now we're on to snacks, and I saw this online, and I was pretty stoked about it because who doesn't love gummy bears? Healthy gummy bears. It's a win. I'm for it. <laughs> so the things that you're going to need for this, you are going to need half a cup of some form of fruit, and then we have um, half a cup of some form of liquid, and they said you could do like almond milk, or you could do water, or coconut water, and I was like, I'm gonna try coconut water, because it always sounds really... Shh, I'm not ready for you yet. You'll have your moment in a minute, but first I have to do this. I'm gonna let you finish. All right, so as I was saying, you're gonna need coconut water and then three tablespoons of gelatin and then honey. So they recommended like one to two tablespoons. I'm gonna do one tablespoon, see how it goes. We'll see if that's sweet enough. I think it'd be sweet enough like without the honey. I feel like I'm, I'm scared to like deviate from the set <laughs> recipe because that is what we're testing. You don't, you don't want to get too healthy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash the berries. Now I'm going to magic bullet this. Okay, so you scrape the berries in there and I am going to get the coconut water. <gasps> oh no! I'm very messy. We're going to do a tablespoon of honey, all incorporated. You know. And then we need to put the gelatin in. So while she stirs that, we are going to put them into a little silicone mold. Look how awesome that's gonna, that's gonna look so good. Pretty I'm very excited. Stop. Oh, oh no! Okay, we learned, we learned. But now they're in their little silicone mold, so we're gonna stick them in the fridge for like 15, 20 minutes, and we're gonna see how they set, or if they set. They have still not set. 
Look how bad of a failure this is. Oh, I'm so sad, guys. So since the first one was such a failure, I decided to try again, and the main difference um, is that I blended just the coconut water and the raspberries together, and then stirred everything in, and then I heated it for five minutes. Ta-da! Look how well they turned out. Oh my gosh, they're so good, guys. They taste good, they look good, they set really well in about an hour. Oh my gosh, what a difference. So I will put the uh, recipe that I used in the info bar below in case you guys are interested in making them, but this was a big thumbs up. Okay, so now we are on to lunch time and today we're going to be doing the sushi burrito so we have a bunch of ingredients here based on like what I had on hand um, but the other things that you're going to be needing you're going to need some sticky rice or sushi rice and you just make it pot on the stove just like you would regular rice I threw in a little bit of uh, seasoned rice vinegar we'll go grab it I'll show you I just threw in like a tablespoon or so and a little bit of sugar and salt and then you just mix it all together and then you have things like avocados, cucumbers, I have some smoked salmon, and then lettuce, and then we have these little seaweed sheets as well, um, which will act sort of as the, the bread in our sushi wrap. What you can do to prevent having to always wash this bamboo thing all the time is you wrap it in plastic wrap. Yeah. Life hacks. Now we're gonna layer on the ingredients, and it's pretty much the same thing as if you were making sushi. Uh, uh, <laughs> This is a pretty, right? Oh my gosh, this is a giant burrito. I'm we may have excited. gone overboard. <laughs> Look at that, everyone. Oh. I want to share it with you. Do you want some? Ready? One, two, three. Done. That was the best thing I've ever made. That is a definite thumbs up. Love it. Pinterest recipe awesomeness. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more Pinterest recipes tested and if there are any particular topics that you guys want me to do. Thumbs up if you want to see more of Caroline in some future videos as well. And um, that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and we'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone. Bye.